it's been sitting here for a couple of days. See my info globe? This is another one. So this was one of them other little uh, eBay purchases to get a Olympias Discovery Info Globe, Color ID Globe, and stuff like that. So like I said in my other videos, you know, these things, new old stock are going for, you know, several hundred dollars. And I have no intentions on spending no several hundred dollars for a globe. I'd rather buy it secondhand and refresh it if it's, you know, working. So all these ones are from this one and that one are from eBay. And I only spent 25 bucks for them. Not including, you know, the cost of shipping, which I don't really count because it's a service. So 25 bucks. That's not bad. So the only difference between this one and that one are two things. One is the color, and two, this one don't have a power supply. They come with a wall work, which is fine. You're probably curious to what color this one is, right? This one's smoke. Awesome! So if you didn't know, these things come in several different colors. And, it, you know, so if you can find them and pick them up for cheap, I'll probably collect every single color someday. So the colors are, the common one is, of course, the blue one. And then you got gray or smoke, uh, same exact thing. And then you got green and orange which is the rarest, and then like a purpley pink one. So that's the colors you get. You get red, uh, green, blue, orange, and smoke. So there. And this is the you know, same exact thing as uh, you know, the rest of them. It's got the same uh, PCB in it, because if you notice, if you look at the pictures real close, there's two different kinds of PCBs in these things. This one's easier to see. So you can see in here, without the glared ring light, right up with the ring light glare, right in the center. See how it's got thin, uh, you know, like wings on it and a, and a very small centerpiece? Well, there's another version in there where that centerpiece is really, really big. And then it flares out into the ends. So I don't know what the difference between I don't know if it's a it's just a factory thing to decipher between the two different models, which are the same thing. And then, you know, stuff like that. So this is the same thing. And like I mentioned, uh, it didn't come with a wall wart, which is fine. You know, because you can buy them or you can borrow one. Just got to make sure it's nine volts. That's not a problem. And this one come with batteries in it. Ew! That means it's got maybe it's got dirty messages in it. So luckily they did not leak. What are these? These are I never heard of these batteries before. These, these are Ikea brand. So however you pronounce that, I do not know. So like I mentioned, this does not come with a, with a, uh, a wallower, which is not a problem. My plans are for this one is to make this one run off of USB, 5 volts. So either that, or I might get one of them little uh, USB-C uh, plugs and go from my other mailbag or mail opening packages and take one of these for the uh, connection and then 
either A, put this into a boost converter to take the 5 volts and turn it into 9 volts because you only need a couple hundred milliamps. This thing maybe only uses tops, maybe 200 milliamps, I would say. Maybe 150. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Very small. Nothing that a, you know, aftermarket boost converter can handle. So my plan is take a crappy or whatever I got laying around USB plug, you know, USB A plug, cut the end of it off, whether it's, I probably got hundreds of uh, USB micros laying around, just chop it off, wire it to a boost converter, and then plug it into here, and then it'll operate. Or my other option is to uh, have this plugged in and then have a dedicated 9 volt USB C uh, plug. So I got uh, 12 volt, 12 volt version of these, but they do make them in 9 and they also make them in, I think, 18 and 21 volts. So I'll have to uh, think of how I want to do it. Whether I want an ugly looking cord or a short ugly looking cord and have one of these little modules. These are USB-C's and these are, you know, they got that little uh, quick charge uh, chip in there to uh, dedicate it as a, as a 9 volt or a 12 volt or a 21 volt or an 18 volt or whatever voltage you buy this little module in and I'm thinking maybe I'll do both just for you know shits and giggles so you know just just so I can make a video you know so uh, let's uh, plug this this one in and uh, we'll see if this one spins up and see what color it is since this one is smoke because don't know it might be a white I have no idea because you never see you never see a lot of these in there's not a lot of videos on these on YouTube either. There's a couple of them, you know, describing. Yeah, I got this thing. Oh, other happy horse yet. So uh, we'll plug this sucker in. And then, of course, you know, this one's got, you know, your typical normal everyday, you know, you know wear scratches on it, on the globe. But I'll polish them out and buff them out. And this thing will look fantastic sitting somewhere. I don't know if it'll be in service or just, a, you know, say, hey, I got this. You know, maybe someday I'll win the lotto and I'll be able to have one of these things spinning in each room. You know, whatever. So we'll uh, plug this in and it spins right up. There it is. So this one's white. So that's pretty cool. All dogs bite. <laughs> All dogs bite. So that's the message in this one. All dogs bite. Yes, they do. Especially when you piss them off. See, that's the nice thing about these things is if you got, if you got people over or something like that and you don't want, you know, and especially if you're running like a YouTube channel and you don't want nobody to, you know, look at all your phone numbers and stuff, put the thing in demo mode. You just push and hold the uh, right button here for a couple of seconds and then it'll go into uh, demo mode. So at least this one works, and the color is white. So we'll check out the, uh, when I build my uh, LED tester, we'll check out the intensity of them, because it looks pretty good. This one, actually, this one doesn't look too bad. So I might not have to do anything on this one. Just, you know, just polish up the globe here and uh, do my little uh, wall wart delete. Because these things, they're, they're handy, but 
you know, they take up space and stuff like that. And if you got a strip or something like that, then you got to sort of like make room. And for me, you know, I use them, them jumpers, them short little four inch, six inch jumpers. So you can have a bunch of these things, you know, hanging out. So that they come in handy. But just for something different and for something that's, you know, earth shaking on YouTube, you know, have one of these things run at five volts. You know, even though it's still going to run at nine volts in the in the center of the uh, electronics there. You know, and of course, this one will have my little uh, switch on there and stuff like that. But, you know, to keep this thing, to keep the, uh, I'll probably, what I'll probably do is probably mod these a little further. Where I'll actually put maybe a push button switch in this to uh, shut off the uh, uh, lithium pack. Because if you're not running this continuously, you know, the uh, backup memory is alive. So if, uh, with AAA batteries, you know, estimated about 750 milliamps total capacity, they claim uh, about seven days to keep the uh, memory alive. So with a 1100 milliamp pack, you know, it might last 10 days. If this thing's in storage, you know it's going to be in storage longer than 10 days. So you want to be able to just... And if you don't care about the messages on there, like, you know, all dogs bite and stuff like that. But on more important balls, you know, like JK18s, I got the uh, Fixed by the Rolling Tardis, which is me, you know. So if you're watching this video and you didn't see my little uh, five-part segment on the... Uh, completely refreshing Jay's, uh, his info ball. And if you didn't watch it, what I did was I, uh, refreshed all the LEDs on the, uh, board because they were running, you know, continuously for 19 years, 20 years, you might as well say. And, you know, the LEDs, they did what they were supposed to do as LEDs were, you know, engineered to do, uh, fade over time not just die like some of the crap leds that are made today you know so i put high quality the best i can get without spending a small fortune for the guy and completely refreshing the leds fixing up them broken solder joints on boards meat because they were all broke all of them it's, it's amazing the thing even worked at all you know completely and stuff like that and it's all work that had to be done under high magnification. You know, I have the help of a, of a, uh, of a uh, microscope where Jay, you know, he has just a, a visor that's, you know, good up to 8x. So that's good enough uh, magnification to see that the solder joints were broke, but not really strong enough to actually do work. You know, and on top of that, he don't have the tools and the, and the equipment and the skill to accomplish fooling around with the surface mount stuff. You know, because I had to take them all off. And, you know, they're so small and you got to hold the board and, you know, all that other good stuff of having to fight with surface mount stuff, especially 0603, which is only about 1.6 millimeters by 0.8 millimeters by 0.8 millimeters. So 1.6 long by 0.8 wide by 0.8 tall and we're talking millimeters so little tiny specks that you could put probably several hundred of them on your fingertip so stay tuned for future videos on me refreshing refurbing and polishing up these info globe, globes and little modifications and stuff like that you know it might be some time before you do see these videos and stuff like that because I only do this stuff when I have playtime. So right now it's uh, March 19th. And for me, playtime is over until November. So you'll see this video. And then, of course, whenever I decide to make and post videos of these little buggers. So you'll have to subscribe and click that notification bell. And share and like and all the other uh, YouTube crap. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.